pathophysiology associated with lymphedema is very similar to what happens in a traffic accident. So if you've ever experienced driving on the freeway and all of a sudden there is a flood of car lights in front of you, you know that the, the traffic is going to be slowing down. And what happens anytime there is a car accident, all the cars behind the cars that are involved are going to slow down and drive at very slow speeds, if at all. So all of that traffic congests behind that traffic accident. This is very similar to what happens with lymphatic pathophysiology. Whatever the impairment of that lymphatic system is, all the fluid that naturally would be flowing through that system gets congested and stagnates behind in that extremity or in that part of the body. So what we need to do is show that fluid how to reroute itself. And this is very similar to what the police do when they come in to clear a traffic accident. They will reroute that traffic around that accident, whether they take it onto the shoulder or onto city streets. And after they've directed those first few cars, the rest of the cars just kind of follow that new traffic pattern. This is exactly what happens when we do manual lymph drainage. We're showing that fluid. You can't go here because this is blocked and congested or non-functional, but you can go this direction. And because the system works off of siphoning and suction, it will follow that path of least resistance and end up rerouting itself after it's been shown the direction to go. This is fundamentally important to really train that system how to work itself around that impairment. So manual lymph drainage is one aspect of complete decongestive therapy. We typically start with skin and wound care, followed by manual lymph drainage, followed by compression to support any edema reduction that is achieved, and then the patients while wearing compression will do basic exercise and walking program. This is really important that these components are done in combination so that they, patients can achieve maximum outcomes. But for healthcare providers, I think it's important to recognize patients that do present with lymphedema, which typically will or not respond to traditional interventions for edema, which is basically rest, ice, and compression. Their edema needs a little bit more specific management and the aspects of complete decongestive therapy are very effective to help manage patients with this condition.